take a look at these two pictures right here. They both have uh, a decent picture in the middle and then a solid color around the picture. What I like to do is I like to make that solid color around the picture invisible. Well, in order to do that, I need to do something called transparency. If I click on my picture, hopefully the picture toolbar appears. If it does not appear when you click on it, then what you need to do is you need to right click on it and say show picture toolbar. And here it is. And what I can do is I can click on this button that says set transparent color, click on the color white, and voila, everything that was the color white is now invisible, which is fantastic for whenever I have shapes like this. Now, with this color like this, I want to make the color yellow invisible. I click on the transparent color, click on the color yellow, and, well, it doesn't exactly look quite right. Well, you might be thinking, why don't I click on the transparent color and click on the other parts of yellow? And the other parts of yellow. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Computers look at colors very differently than we do. When we see shades of yellow, we see them basically as all yellow. But if you look at this more in depth, it's darker in the edges than it is in the middle. Well, it's not going to work that way. Unfortunately, the set transparent color only works on one color. And so if it's any variation of that shade of color, then it's not exactly going to work. To demonstrate this, if you look at the more colors in custom, you'll see that there's millions of different options of colors right here. If you see this color yellow up the top right here, it's sort of like this pale yellow, the computer sees it as a color of red, 253 parts, green, 255 parts, and blue, 153 parts. Don't ask me what this means. But when I change this color red to 254 parts right there, you're probably not going to notice much of a difference here, but the computer, that's a 100% completely different color. And so I can just tweak these numbers just a, a tad, and we're not going to really notice it for a long time. But computers see these differences as, as, as very, very big. So computers see colors way more differently than we do. And when you keep that in mind, that's very important when you're choosing a color for a transparent background.